we're going to use the calculator to help us solve an annuity due problem. So in this case, we're given that the annual effective interest rate is 5%, and we want to know what level of deposits are needed at the beginning of each of the next nine years so that you have $12,000 in the account. Notice that it says that the level of deposits are to be made at the beginning of each of the next nine years, and that's our clue that we're having, we have an annuity due problem versus an annuity immediate problem. So the first thing that we need to do with our calculator before we do anything else is make sure that we set the calculator to the mode that it knows that the payments are supposed to be put in at the beginning of the periods rather than the end. So you'll see that right above the PMT button, there's BGN. So that's how, what we need to get into to be able to set the calculator from what's referred to as end mode into begin mode. It's just telling the calculator that the deposits are going to be coming in at the beginning of the period rather than the end of the period. So to get into there, we use our second begin. Notice right now it's set at end. If we do second set, it changes it to begin. And also notice the little BGN pops up here at the top of the screen. Now we can just do second quit and go back to our home screen, if you will. All right. So this is a time value of money problem. Again, we know what the future value needs to be. We are looking for what the payments need to be. We know the number of payments and we know the annual effective rate. So uh, before we do anything else, let's do second clear TVM. Make sure there's nothing stored in there. All right, we know the future value. The future value is 12,000. So we'll type in 12,000, hit future value. We know that the interest rate per period, in this case, the annual effective interest rate is 5%. So we'll hit five in I slash Y. There are nine periods because it tells us that we're doing this for nine years. So nine and hit N. We don't have anything for present value because there's nothing in the account to start with. We're not looking for the present value of these deposits. We're looking for the future value of these deposits. And we already cleared out the time value of money. So zero should be in the present value. So we want to compute the payment, compute payments. And we see that we need to make an uh, annual de payment of one that our excuse, deposit of 136 46. Notice in this case, again, this is negative and we put in the future value is positive. That's again, because the calculator is trying to balance out money going in and money coming out. We're putting in 136 46 to get out $12,000 at the end of nine years.